18 former NBA players who made big bucks now accused of submitting fake doctor's bills to rip off the league's insurance plan. CBS investigator Megan Hickey joins us. Megan, several of the defendants have connections to Chicago. Right, Brad, seven players who either played high school basketball here or who played on the Chicago Bulls were arrested this morning. Two of them appeared at the Dirksen Federal Courthouse this afternoon. All 19 defendants are charged with conspiracy to commit health care fraud and also wire fraud. Prosecutors say the mastermind was former New Jersey Nets star Terrence Williams. He made fake invoices for dental, chiropractic and other wellness services for these former players. The health care plan then paid out money for the phony services and all the players received about $2.5 million. Williams got kickbacks to the tune of about 230,000. At heart, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a hooper. One of the defendants, Chicago native Will Bynum, attended Crane High School and was a standout with the Pistons. He, like many of the others, is accused of filing fake claims for chiropractic services. Tony Allen also went to Crane High School and played 15 seasons in the NBA. Allen was one of three former players who all claimed they had root canals on the same six teeth on the same date in 2016. Allen and another player also claimed they got root canals on the same 13 teeth on the same date two years later. Shot clock winding down for Watson. Former Chicago Bulls C.J. Watson, he submitted phony chiropractor and dental bills. So did Darius Miles, a Belleville, Illinois native and first round draft pick with the Clippers. <laughs> Proviso East alum Shannon Brown, former NBA star and former Illinois Mr. Basketball, claimed fake chiropractic services. So did Eddie Robinson, who was a Chicago Bull for three seasons from 2001 to 2004. Melvin Eli from Harvey attended Thornton Township High School. He played 14 years in the NBA. Prosecutors said Eli submitted more than $200,000 in claims for phony services at a Washington wellness center. Eli and Bynum were released on a $250,000 OR bond, which means they don't need to pay any money as long as they appear at their next hearing in New York at the end of the month. Now, when asked this afternoon, federal prosecutors said the investigation is still open and it's unclear if any other former NBA stars could be connected to the scheme. In the Streetside Studio, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.